Hello, Lola's. Let's try this video again. So, I was making a video, right? Right. And the camera died on me. Like, one minute in. So, let's start over. Welcome, welcome back to my channel, guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And real quick, real quick, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you share this video. Make sure you leave me a comment. Comments matter all comments matter yes and also guys i would love for you to join the chat box there are two levels there's a 199 tier and there's a 499 tier different parts all fun all support this channel content and anything that i do with this channel so anyway today this video is just a little introduction of my reborn boys um, I do have other reborn boys, but these are my baby boys. And so I want to show you guys my boys and I want to say this and I want to also say something to you guys, but let me introduce the babies first and then I'll get into that. Okay. Okay. So first we're going to start over here. Let's turn the camera a little bit more over here. So this baby we have not named yet fully because he just transitioned over to being a boy. Mmm, child, listen, honey. Yes, let's find out that the uh the babies be transitioning and changing genders. Yas. Okay, so he is Christopher, is what I'm thinking of. But if you have a better name for him, please drop that name down in the comment section so I can consider it. But I think he looks like a Christopher. Let me know if you agree with yellow lasses here. All right, so he is the Lulu head by Joanna Cosmerite. And he has the Lulu tummy plate. <clears throat> but his arms and legs is what? By the infamous Bonnie Brown, the Laura Lambs. Yes. Um, baby, can't nobody do it like Laura. I mean, let I me mean, Bonnie. <laughs> Anyway, I love both of them. I love the face. I love the Lulu face. So I thought it was just a perfect blend. But you know, your girl is weird. So I be doing a little something, something. Doing too much sometimes. Alright, so then we have Lenny by Olga Ara. Whatever. That is by Calvin Poole. And the story behind him, it's you guys already know. I probably said this a million times. But he, I painted this baby in 2020. And he was in Birdie Baby's uh, Reborn uh, 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 collection, Miss Linda. And he came back to me. Um, I painted, it was, he was one of the first babies that I painted as a custom or private order for her. So... Um, so he's a special, special boy, and he's forever, forever going to be in my collection. If nobody else stays, he will be here. That is Mr. Calvin Pooh. She named him Calvin, and I am keeping that name for him. Um, all right. So, then we have Tariq, and Tariq is a Pascal, a Pascalele, by Joanna K. Um, and he is... My stanka poo, and I am so glad to be able to have him in my collection. All these babies were painted by me. Um, uh, Christopher was painted. This baby was painted in 2022, right? Or was it 2021? 2022. I think he was painted this year. And then this baby definitely was painted not too long ago this year. And then this baby was painted in 2021. And that is Christian Dior. And I named him Christian Dior. And the funny story behind that is I did not know that Christian Dior was a brand name when I said that. I just saw Dior somewhere and I was licking the name Christian for him. And I was like, ooh, sound fancy together. Christian Dior. And then somebody made a comment or something and they was they kept everybody kept making laughing about the name and then i eventually somebody told me like oh, okay so you name him after the whatever and i was just like oh my bad so um miss linda thought it was so funny that i didn't know for one and she was gonna name him a total different name but <laughs> when she heard the story behind it she thought it was so hilarious and she was like this is my designer baby and so therefore she kept the name Christian Dior and she called him my designer baby. And because 
um she said it was perfect because i mixed his limbs up as well because he has the twin b head and twin b legs but he has the delia arms and delia tummy plate which he does not have on his tummy plate at this moment so these are my for baby boys, I am such a boy mom. I have another boy, but it's not painted by me. And I just wanted to show the ones that was painted by me at the time. So, um, so those are my boys. And they all have their own little coloring. And the lighting is sucks because it is really early. Like 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. So, still dark outside. But what I wanted to say to you guys is, I know, I know, I know, like, Definitely a lot of people, when you come to YouTube videos, you hear all the negatives, you hear about the scams, you hear about, you know, what's going on, the disappointment box openings, you hear about the artists complaining about customs and, um, you know, customers and non-pairs and all this stuff and just, you know, how hard it is to keep up with the schedule and da 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 well, I want to tell you guys that I thank you so much. And I'm, I'm so loud. I'm so sorry. But I want to tell you guys thank you so much, so much. Because you guys are so amazing. And I just appreciate you guys so much. You guys have no idea the amount of support that I get from this community, from certain individuals, a lot of you guys. It's just so encouraging and it means so much to me. And I'm not a person that come and pour every personal thing out here um, to the community or on social media because my business is my business. And I share, I don't mind sharing some personal stories if I think it's going to help someone, but not everything for me is meant to share out here. But this community just has so many amazing people that they don't even know when they do something that just uplifts me or brightens my day and just make it so much easier to go on to the next phase or the next step or keep trying keep pushing or put pushing forward so i just want to say thank you i am slow i take forever i am short tempered um i'm so picky about what i'll paint when i'll paint who i'll paint for this that and the other i have all these little nuances about myself but yet and still there are so many lolas out there that truly do want to see me win and that are really really supporters not fans but supporters um i do have some fans but i try not to focus on the fans because i feel like fans are different fans are you know people that like what you do like what you you have going on but not necessarily like you or want you to really win they just want it to benefit them so i that's my terms i've made up myself as i always making up stuff but i am like i said the um chatterbox is doing really well um the um next level is doing really well it took off pretty fast and i love it i want to get more members in there more you know participation but at the time right now i'm just humbly grateful and thankful that people actually support me in that way and just even this channel like the people that watch on a day-to-day -day basis and the people that comment um i was <laughs> laughing because um some days i literally be like waiting for certain people comments i'm like where are they? Because they normally be on comment or I wonder what they're going to say about this. Oh, you know, after I do a video, I'm just like, ooh, so-and-so may not like that one. Or so-and-so going to love this video. And then I try to remember what babies this show. And I did hear, no, um, is it No No Baby or No To Babies? Um, said that she wanted to see a dressing on Instagram. She wanted to see uh, Logan, which is my Greta, get changed on camera and I am going to do that eventually I just um hadn't did it yet I got him dressed off camera and I haven't taken pictures like you know real pictures of him yet um in his new clothes but I will um I listen to my comments I I mean I listen to my comments I read my comments and I hear what you guys are saying and I try to slowly implement a lot of the things that you guys are asking for and um I did get my girl. She is um, the new the new girl, and I just haven't had a time to really, you know, get 
videos going with her. But it's coming, guys. It's coming. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm just really excited. I got a lot going on that I'm really thankful for. Um, my schedule is fully, fully loaded for 2022. And so I'm just, like, I'm thankful, you know, um, that I'm able to be able to do, you know, what I do. And I've just been enjoying my dolls so much. Like, oh my gosh, you guys have no idea, like, how much I've been enjoying my collection. I haven't played like this with my, been able to take, you know, an hour or two aside and just decompress and just dress a baby or dress a couple babies. It's just so relaxing and therapeutic to me, honestly. And so, I've just been really enjoying myself in between working because... I work hard guys but um like I said thank you guys so much for loving me for me and accepting who I am flaws and all because that's a lot to take in because <laughs> your girl is extra um let me get a little closer to these these little fellas look at these little fellas um yeah so anyway that is it. That is my video for today as we approaching the weekend. I am about to do some serious matting. And so I will be able to share another baby with you guys probably by this weekend. So I'm excited about that. So another project down and a couple more to go. Um, and guess what, guys? I'm going to get to paint a boy Nori. Um, I'm doing a custom order for a private order um for one of the lolas and so i am excited <laughs> boy nori i love nori um i love the nori spoke so i could paint i probably could paint that thing 10 times but i'm i've already said i at max i will only paint three nori so i'm up to two so i might paint one more nori i don't know i might paint myself a boy i don't know but that's where i'm at with that um and man I don't know you know this baby eyes his eyes like glisten in a way that I feel like no other baby eyes that I have and I buy my eyes from the same places but for whatever reason this baby eyes just seems more like it just like he they so seem so glossed or something I don't know but Man, I just love looking into his eyes. I love this baby. It's something so magical about it. I feel like, I don't know. But I'm just glad he came back to me. And like I said again, I just wish it was under different circumstances. Um, but I wouldn't want him with no one else but me. So I'm so happy to have him back. Oh, <sighs> Happy moments, right? Okay, look at this little one. There's a little tummy belly plate. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you guys see that? His little belly plate. His little tummy belly button. I love that about him. But and he has baby acne. It's so crazy. Let me see. Let me get some some more light on him. Hey, look at that little baby acne. Let me see. Can I feel it? No. It looked like you could feel it, but it's it's not. It look it's so 3D and I love that. It's so cool. It's so 3D that literally even me here, I keep thinking I could feel it, but I can't. It's really not it's not raised off of his face, but it looked like it is. So yeah. I think this baby is gonna stay with me. <laughs> Believe it or not, even though I put it put him up for sale, I bet he stay with me forever. Watch. That's how it usually works. Those be the ones that stay with you. Forever and ever and ever and ever. Um, because I, I put Pears Me and More up for sale like two times, believe it or not. She's been here, what, nine years? So, um, anyway. Alright, thanks guys. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.